All right, thank you, Courtney. Well, we are just a day away from all the excitement at the Thunder Rover Georgia Air Show. Hunter is live out on the Robbins flight line this morning with more than some of the people who've really been working hard to make this show a success. Good morning, Hunter. Yeah, good morning, Caitlin. All of us will be here on the ground just enjoying everything with the air show, keeping our eyes to the skies, watching the acrobatics, the barrel rolls. But there'll be another couple of sets of eyes also on the skies, making sure these planes have enough room to soar. Caitlin got to go behind the lines with the air traffic control tower, and they figured out how to manage all of these planes at once. Check it out. Some days at the Robbins Air Traffic Control Tower can be almost peaceful. But when the air show comes to town, at three, clear to land. Gator 01 Robbins Tower, report initial. Memory 234 Foxtrot, Roger. As you see in this simulator, it will be anything but. Cleared for touch and go. Normally, we work with uh, no more than, say, three to four at a time in our airspace. So we're looking to go from three to four at a time to maybe work anywhere from 10 to 12 at a time. And Master Sergeant Jason McAlpin says those planes will come in all shapes and sizes. We're used to working military aircraft, so working with smaller civilian aircraft that fly at different speeds and different altitudes and may have a little bit different requests. So that's going to be the biggest challenge. From controlling the skies to controlling pretty much everything else, Major Dagan Fain took up the mission of coordinating this year's air show. Initial planning for this started back in December, uh, started to pick up in January. I, I started on the staff uh, around the end of March or beginning of April. It's a bit different than his normal job as an air battle manager with J-STARS, but it's one he takes just as seriously. We've got, I think, something like 40 different aircraft that are, that are coming in, and each of them have a little bit different requirement. Aircraft crossing from west to east. Each act may bring new challenges for Major Fane and the air traffic controllers, but in the end, there's only one mission. Being able to expose the, the general public to the Air Force mission, exposing them to uh, a world that maybe they've never seen before. During the air show, Fane says they bring in a professional air boss. That's the actual title. And as you can imagine, the air boss has plenty of experience traveling across the country and working with these air shows to help put on the best demonstrations possible. Very cool. So we've met some of the acts. We've talked to some of these high flying daredevils coming up three top things that you need to know before you go to the air show tomorrow. We'll have that coming up later in the show. Caitlin, back inside to you. All right, thank you. Hunter. I know it looked hectic in that package too, but even just being there in that simulator, you just, I could not keep track of everything. So they do a great job out there. All right, but I